So we got a brand new Kodi. The latest version of Kodi is now available for you to download. You can install it on your Android phone, your Android TV, your Fire Sticks, obviously, your Fire TV devices. A little bit trickier on the Fire TV devices, Fire Sticks. This video will show you how to install the latest version no matter what it is. As I'm filming this, it is currently Kodi version 21.1, latest update. It's been out for a couple of days now, and I'm going to show you a nice simple guide to update yours on a Fire Stick or Fire TV device, or to install it as a first time, a fully working Kodi 21.1. Before we do that, real quick though, if you are new here, do remember to hit that follow button if you're into your streaming. We show you everything streaming here, as you'll see down the channel. Um, if you're a regular watcher, drop me your comments and thoughts underneath. All try and watch till the end. It's free to follow. It's free to be nice. So let's support the channel if you can for free. Brilliant. So first things you're going to do on your Fire Stick, grab your remote and you're going to go all the way to the magnifying glass. All the way. It's one click. And in here, you're going to type in downloader. We need downloader to install this application. Downloader is a bit like a web browser, allows us to install applications um, externally so you don't have to go through the Amazon store because Kodi's not in the Amazon store, it's just in the Google Play store. So you click on downloader, you select this. Regular watches, you may notice the downloader icon has changed, that's recently been updated as well. So you click that, get it downloaded, but do not open it yet, okay? After that, once it's downloaded, if yours is still downloaded, just pause the video, click the home button, go all the way across to your settings, whichever way you want to go, and then you go down to My Fire TV. Once in here, you need to go to Developer Options. If you do not have Developer Options, click on About, and where it says the name of your device, mine's Fire TV Stick 4K Max, click that seven or eight times, and then when you go back, it will unlock the developer options for you. Anyone having issues with that part, you can either watch that bit again, or there is a video underneath, a full video on how to get developer options specifically, which will help you out as well. Okay, so click on developer options. Then you're gonna turn on ADB debugging and install unknown apps. You're gonna turn it on for the downloader app, okay? Turn it on for downloader app. This allows downloader to install other applications that are not from Amazon App Store, Turn this option on only if you install apps from reliable sources. There's as a developer, but you know what I mean. So from there, back to your home screen. And you need to find this downloader app again. So to do that, if you go to the free squares and the plus, down to my apps, and in here, look around for that icon. Mine's at the top. Once you find the downloader, click it and get it open. Brilliant. As it opens, make sure you accept any permissions it asks you to accept because it will need access to your files um, and your storage so it can download the application so it can install it onto your device. Once you've done that, where it says enter a URL search term or short code, the short code we can use is 75726. Or you can use docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads it's in the description underneath and it's in the pinned comment. Um, that's what can be used on your mobile phone. You can click directly under this video. Um, if you want it on your Android devices, you can use a web browser, type in that as well. You then click go. And while that's loading, perfect time for you to drop me a comment, your thoughts on my video, hit that follow button for free, hit that thumbs up. Okay, now we're on my website. And I'm going to show you step by step, no editing, how to download it really easily. And for anyone who says it doesn't work, I'm showing you it works. So you go down to new updates, new APK, you will see Kodi 21.1. If it isn't there, you can go down to media players and it will be here. Okay. So once you find it, um, we want the 32 bit version on Android Fire Stick Fire TV. Um, if you're a more updated Android device, like a Shield, NVIDIA Shield, you can use the 64 bit, but the 32 bit, works on any of them anyways, you might as well just use that. If an advert does pop up, just click on close. And then you scroll down to the massive download button. You click it. That will download nice and easy. As you see, everything is working. You then click install. You then click done. And then you have to click delete. Well, you don't have to, but you delete that file because that's just a download file, which you do not need anymore. Okay, 
once you've got your Kodi installed, remember, if you're upgrading from 21 to 21.1, you can upgrade straight away. If you're coming up from something like Kodi 19 or even Kodi 20 to 21, make sure the media you use is compatible with it. So you can find your Kodi. Again, three squares and the plus, my apps. Once you found it, mine's here, open it up. Remember, we are showing you how to install Kodi. It will require access to device media so it can play it. Kodi is a media player. Okay, it's a media player for your own videos, movies, or videos or movies you have the rights to watch. Um, how you use Kodi is your choice. We are just showing you how to install this media player. We are not showing you how to get free uh, movies or TV shows or anything like that. If you want something like that, that might be something else you can find on the internet. That's not something we can show on YouTube for you. But this is your base media player, which you can use to watch your media library. Um, there's also some official add-ons you can get from the video section or from your add-ons section. Um, in your video add-ons, you can find some stuff in there, which is all the official add-ons. And in there, you can find your own apps and things like that and have a little play around with it and see how you get on. Obviously, if you want to find more about Kodi, have a Google online. Um, there's a few websites out there. There's, I'm sure there's some videos out there with some people who do it. We just show you the media player. Um, the media player is official. The media player is official. Let me move my head out of the way if I can. That's not my head. That one. Let's move me. As you'll see, the media player is official. This is it on the Google Play Store. You're allowed to install it. Google allow it. The Play Store allows it. 50 million plus downloads. We do it via my website for Amazon because it's not in the Amazon store and it's just the simplest way to do it for you. Brilliant. If you are going to be streaming online though, quick word from one of our partners, you may be interested in getting yourself a VPN. VPN is great for your streaming online. It's also good for your online privacy for your mobile phone, computer, any devices like that. So having that security and that peace of mind using online servers so your data is protected is very good. So if you do want that, we are partnered with them. It is a partner of ours, so we'll link that underneath. It does help support the channel, but that's only if you need a VPN. That will be linked directly underneath for you as well. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you all for watching. Check out the channel. We have got some of the other Kodi versions on here. We've got some other things for Kodi on here. We've also got things for your fire six, your settings, how to watch certain sporting events, all this sort of stuff. The main thing we try and do is either free streaming or saving you money. So it's all on the channel all there for you to watch and there's no memberships for my channel or anything like that you can join subscribe for free and watch along brilliant so i've been doc squiffy thank you all for watching hit that subscribe button hit that follow button hit that share if you want tell everyone about it and i'll see you on the next thank you very much